Merry Christmas, everybody. Welcome to Movie Important's Flashback Christmas Review, where we take movies from our past and present and break them down for your enjoyment. As always, if you like what you see, remember to rate, subscribe, check out the YouTube channel, Facebook, and Twitter. Email nlapola1138 gmail.com. So that's right, guys. It's Christmas. And you know what that means. You're getting a Christmas review. So I hope you've enjoyed all my Christmas reviews for the month of December. Um, I've had a lot of good reviews. Maybe some movies that you don't like. Maybe some of the movies that you like. But whatever. They're movie reviews. So I had plenty of movies to go with for Christmas. This is my first year doing this. And... I wanted to go with Christmas Story. As you know, you've seen the review already. I wanted to go with Christmas Vacation. I've already done that review. So I wanted to go with a movie that is not necessarily the best Christmas movie. I still think Christmas Vacation is the best Christmas movie. But I wanted to go with one that's special to my heart. And one that may be special to you guys. And that is Scrooge. So Scrooge, directed by Richard Donner. It stars Bill Murray, has Karen Allen, has John Forsythe, John Glover, Bobcat Goldwaits in this movie. It's a story that's a play on A Christmas Carol, and it's about this executive who works for IBC. And he's a stuck-up individual. He cares about no one. He's terrible in who he is. He fires Bobcat Goldwaits' character because Bobcat Goldwaits watches his video of this trailer for The Christmas Carol that they're doing. And he makes some suggestions because it's a really dark commercial. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. And he fires him right before Christmas. And this is the kind of person he is. He doesn't care about anybody. He cares about net ratings. You know, Bill Murray, who's playing uh, Frank Cross, is such a terrible, miserable human being. You know, he's given an award for a charity. and He leaves the award in the car. He doesn't care about his brother who's inviting him over Christmas because he's too uptight and up his own butt. And as stories like Christmas Carol play out, he is visited by his old boss who has died. He died of a heart attack. He was a womanizer. But like in the Christmas Carol story, he is brought in to basically tell Frank Cross that you are going to be visited by three ghosts throughout the the next day or night and so on and so forth. And as the Christmas story plays out, Scrooge plays out, that's exactly what happens. And of course we know how that ends, how that's supposed to end. But what really makes this movie unique, what really makes it different is it takes that Christmas Carol idea and flips it on its head. This movie is demented. I mean, Richard Donner, who is known for just stuff like the Goonies, lethal weapon, He's taken the Christmas Carol idea and just like went all over insanity. This movie is insane. You know, the first ghost who is embodiment of a cabbie, it takes him to his childhood. You find out that, you know, Frank Cross, his father, who's actually played by his brother, Brian Doyle Murray. He was a terrible butcher. He was a terrible human being to his son. The kid wanted a train for his for a choo-choo train for his for christmas instead he got a pound like a pound of beef or veal or whatever you get this idea that frank cross basically was not he just wasn't loved when he was a kid and it started to you know seep into him as you know he was a young person in you know the ibc building his boss who we see as a real character now we see the just the idea of that Frank Cross is more worried about his work than celebrating Christmas. And then he meets Karen Allen's character, and that falls apart like near the end of the actual Ghost of Christmas Past. And it's very similar to what happens to Ebenezer Scrooge in the Christmas Carol. So the, it's following that structure. But that ends, and then we get into the Carol Kane stuff, which is used the Ghost of Christmas Present. And you see... You know, uh, Frank Cross's brother is actually played by one of the Murray brothers. And you see that family and you see how, you know, Frank Cross's secretary, who is all he also mistreats and doesn't doesn't give like, she doesn't have a lot of money or son. It doesn't talk. And then you, you know, you go through that. And of course, you see how that plays out. And then you get into the Christmas future stuff. Which is where the movie gets really disturbing because you see Frank Cross, you know, the kid doesn't talk so he's put in an insane asylum and then you see frank cross get burned alive and a, he's getting incinerated so he's going to be turned into an urn and that's the type of movie this is this is definitely a pg-13 this is not a kid's movie it's a movie that takes the christmas carol matter you know subject matter and really makes it dark 
And but this movie is also a lot of fun. It's very funny. It's very dark, but darkly funny. You know, everybody's having a lot of fun. I think Bill Murray's having a lot of fun. Karen Allen's definitely having a lot of fun. Bobcat Goldwaith is at his best in this movie. And John Glover, who's playing the director of the Christmas Carol thing that live TV series they're putting on, is one of my favorite characters in this, you know, whole movie because he's just arrogant and he's just like, he wants Frank Cross to get fired because I think he wants his job. But, you know, this movie also plays on the idea of just like, you know, the world of corporate television, you know, at the very beginning, as the Paramount logo dissipates, you go into a thing where you see, you know, there's this like Santa workshop and you, Lee Major shows up and there's a whole gun battle. And then Robert Goulet is, you know, he's on a swamp with a gator singing Christmas songs. And that's the type of movie you're getting with this. It's just, it's a bonkers, crazy, insane, fun ride. Um, Bill Murray, who's one of my favorite actors, it's just he embodies this character. It's kind of like he's almost brothers with the character he plays in Groundhog Day. Um, and like I said, this movie is never going to be the greatest movie in the world because it's so dark and the material it's showing. I mean, Christmas Carol was a dark movie to begin with or dark subject matter from Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens' stories were about characters who have to be redeemed. I mean, it's just the way he was, the way he wrote. Like I said in the Dutch review way back in Thanksgiving, these characters have to be shown how they can be better. Because at the very end of the of Scrooge, Frank Cross realizes that he can do better, he can be better, and he can show better. And he interrupts the middle of the live broadcast of A Christmas Carol. And he just kind of like tells people, you know, be with your family. Don't watch TV. Do with your family. And he's like... He apologized for everything, and he ends up getting off the hook, which in the situation like this, he probably would have gotten fired. But he but he instills the lessons that he learns from the three ghosts and his old boss, and, you know, it's just, it's a very, it's still a timeless story. Even though it's told in this demented way, it's still just a great idea behind Christmas, you know. Christmas is about your family. It's not about, you know, the presents you seek or the toys. If you really think that's what Christmas is all about, then I'm sorry. That's not what Christmas is about. Christmas is about your family. The visual work in this movie is really good. The Ghost of Christmas Future, the big uh, cloaked entity is really awesome. I think Carol Kane is awesome in this movie. Like I said, this movie has bonkers stuff in it. You know, like I said in the beginning, it's just insane and crazy and it's, one of the best Christmas movies I've ever seen. And one it's one of the best Bill Murray performances I've ever seen, to be honest. Maybe outside of Lost in Translation. But it's just fun. It's not going to be for everyone. It's proven by some of the reviews I've seen for it. But, you know, I've even, I've even gotten into, you know, Richard Donner, who is a pretty amazing director. And is a very dark, dark director when it comes to these types of movies. But, you know, it is what it is. And I really enjoy it. And, you know, I give props for props are due, and I've loved this movie ever since I was a kid. So, even though I shouldn't have watched it when I was a kid, but I love it. So, but that's it. That'll be my take on Scrooge. Thank you so much for watching. I do wish you guys a Merry Christmas. Hopefully, you have a safe Christmas, like with Thanksgiving. But as always, if you like what you see, remember to rate, subscribe, check out YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, email, and lapola 13 at gmail.com. Uh, comment below if you've seen this movie, if you like it. Even if you don't like it, I kind of want to know. But as always, thank you so much for watching. And you guys have a great Christmas, okay? Merry Christmas to you. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.